What's up, survivalist? Optimal Methin here, and thanks for hanging out with me today, and welcome back to Remnants. Back here with another quick guide for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about power. Now, if you guys have missed any of my previous guides, I will link them down in the description below. Make sure to go and check them out. All right, so the first piece of power we're going to talk about here today is the solar panel. Now, you can't find this out in the world. Once you find it, you can take a recycle kit or a research kit and learn the item. Now, the recycle kit is going to destroy the item, uh, but you will be able to craft it. The research kit uh, will not destroy the item. It'll learn it uh, so you can craft it at your bases. You will need a workbench for it. It is going to cost you 10 empty jars, 6 wire, eight electrical scrap, and 10 low-grade metal. Uh, now, you will find out in the world these add-ons. Uh, you cannot learn these. You do have to find these. So it does take two of these. So you just attach it here, and you left-click it. Sometimes it can be a little finicky here for some reason. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and get this to snap. All right, once you get it snapped into place, uh, the more panels you have on it, the faster it will charge. So keep that in mind. Now it does have its own little set of batteries back here. You will need a pair of pliers uh, to connect this device. Once you see that blue plug-in icon, that means you're able to get a wire and connect it to either your conductors or connect it to some other source. Um, now you can connect this to a battery bank. I have conductors strung around here going over to a battery bank so once i connect this here and i just disconnected it um, once i connect it here it will start to charge up this battery bank here as you can see here it's starting to tick up a lot quicker so the second item we're going to talk about here today is the wind generator here now this does draw power just like the solar panel uh, you can take your recycle kit or your research kit and learn this item and be able to craft it. You do need the workbench. It's going to take you six wire, eight electrical scrap, and two low-grade metal, and one alternator to craft this bad boy up. Uh, it's not as quick as the solar panel, but it does pull in power all the time uh, with the wind. It's a little bit slower, but you can connect this to your conductor, which then you can connect it to your battery bank as well. Um, now, to connect each one of these, you are gonna need wire. You can find this out in the world. You cannot uh, craft it, but you can find it when you're out there looting, so you are gonna need wire and your pliers as well. Now, you can take the pliers also and learn this item and be able to craft it if you um, lose it or it breaks or you just need to um, you know, make another one. So keep that in mind. So that's the two items that you can craft. And let's get into the third item here. All right. So the third item that you can craft up is the generator frame. Now it does take the 12 metal pipes and one conductor to craft this bad boy. Again, recycle kit, research kit to learn that. Uh, you can take the frame and you can put this bad boy here. Middle wheel rotates it here. You can place that down. Now you are going to need some items here. You're gonna need an engine. You're gonna need an alternator. You're also gonna need a fuel tank and two batteries as well. Now, once you have all those items in your generator, uh, you are gonna need some low grade fuel. So you need to be able to craft that. And to craft low grade fuel, you will need the animal fat and the cloth to craft that. Uh, holding E gets you a, you're into it here. So you get a thousand watts with this generator. Uh, I believe the lights, they are going to cost you 30 watts uh, a light to run this. Um, you can power your base off of it with just these items here. But once you power it on, you can connect this to any light here. So let's go ahead and... Let's disconnect these lights here and connect that up. So we got one light on there. As you can see, it's pulling 30 watts. Now, if we were to connect this up to the next light, now we got three lights up there, so that should be 90 watts, and that's what we have to run this. 
So that is the generator here. So you're gonna start with the frame and then add all these parts to get the generator with low grade fuel. All right, and the fourth way to power your bases is to come up to a power pole that's scattered throughout the map here uh, on Rise Island. So you come up to the, the power pole here and you can see this is as 5,000 volts. Uh, so you can piggyback off of this and use this power. Again, take your pliers and some wire and I can't connect that there. So let's go ahead, remove that. Now he did fix uh, the issue with stealing the power. So once you log in and out, you should not lose your wires here. But uh, once you have that, you can piggyback here. All right, so we got our power running here. We don't have it hooked up to anything, so it's still at 5,000. Now what you can do is you can take these wooden posts here. Uh, you can craft these, so take your wooden post and craft them up. It takes four green wood, but once you have those in your conductor, you can take all these items here. Now, I have found a trick here uh, with stretching the wire, trying to get it to its max. Um, if you s walk 10 paces um, and put your pole down, that seems to be the limit. I tried it at 11 and tried to stretch the wire and it didn't reach. It said it could not connect. So I'm gonna be quiet here for a second so you guys can hear the footsteps. Don't run, just walk. And then uh, we're gonna put down a pole here. So we're just gonna stand next to this here and walk 10 paces. All right, so this 10 paces, what I like to do is if I were to put the pole here, this would be too long. So I try to go off to the side where I have my 10 paces here. I put down my pole, put up my conductor, and then I'll come back here and take my wire and stretch it out here and look for this blue icon here. And that should connect that easily for you guys all right so once you have piggybacked your power we're going to slap a conductor up here on the base we're gonna grab this bad boy and we're gonna pull to each light here all right, so now we got our power source here. Let's go look at our pole real quick. All right, guys, we're here at our pole. As you can see, it's gone down uh, three points here. Now the power from the solar panel, the generator, and uh, this power pole seems to be that it's on a timer. So it doesn't seem to go by wattages like the generator frame does. Um, so the more stuff you have hooked up to it, I believe, it draws more power from whatever device you're using. So let me know down in the comments if you guys are noticing that as well while you're playing the game. Um, but an easy way that I have found to recharge this pole, if this is what you guys are doing before you find your power sources, is all you have to do is disconnect this one wire and it'll start to recharge. Now, the further down it is, now I've gotten this all the way down to zero, disconnect to the wire and let it build back up over time. Um, and it does recharge. So all you have to do is disconnect that wire and rehook up your wire and you should be good to go. Now, you are gonna lose one wire every time, but uh, the alternative is you will have power if you're having problems finding you know, the solar panel, the wind generator, or the generator frame, so. All right, so now I wanna show you guys some of the items that you can use with the power here. Um, I don't have one item that does draw power, but I just wanted to give you guys the basics on the power here. Um, now you are gonna have, some, have to have some way to store your power, and that's where the battery bank comes into play here. Um, so your battery bank, you can craft this as well by researching it with the research kit or the recycle kit. 
and we're gonna type in battery. And you're gonna need six batteries, two electrical scrap, five wire, 10 wood, and one conductor to craft this up. Now, say you don't have the solar panel or the wind generator or a power pole, but you have a battery bank, you can power your base off of this item here. Um, now it will tick down, it starts with a thousand power. Um, so once you have stuff hooked up to it, it is gonna fill these batteries up. But let's say you didn't have these items. Um, it's gonna start with a thousand power. You can hook up your power to it. Uh, once say it gets down to zero or whatever, uh, you can pick this thing up by having an empty slot in your hot bar here. And we're gonna pick it up here and we're gonna rotate it like this. And let's just go right here. Once we put it back down, it's gonna have a thousand power. So let the let it draw the power down, pick it up, and it's going to recharge the batteries at a thousand power. Now, the time of recording this video, it might be fixed uh, later on down the road, but at this point, this is the case. So once you hit E to turn it on here, and we got a lot of lights here, it's kind of bright. Uh, once you turn it on here, you can see that the power is ticking down. If we were to pick it back up and place it back down, it has that thousand power again. So that's an, a workaround as of today of recording this video to not have to have a solar panel, a wind generator, a generator frame, or a power pole. All right. Now, the wall switch here, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if this is bugged or what, but as you can see, I have the power on. I have all the wires running in the direction, as you can see here, the power's running here. Now, I don't know if this is an indicator of the way that the power's supposed to be running, but I've tried everything uh, and made sure that the power is running correctly. And if I hit this wall switch, the lights don't go off. So I don't know if this wall switch is bugged, but as of right now, I have tried everything to get this wall switch working and I cannot get the wall switch to work. Uh, if you guys are having similar problems, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you guys have come up with a fix for it or a solution, let me know. All right, next we have the floodlight. Uh, it does take power. Now you can turn this bad boy on here. Let me get rid of these pliers here. Let me turn this on real quick. Let me disconnect. Let me disconnect that because it is kind of bright. It is kind of bright when it's daytime. Let me disconnect all these too. All right. So you have a floodlight here. You can turn this bad boy on. Now, I can't get this to stick to walls. I can only get it to stick to foundations, the ground, or the beams. So keep that in mind. So you have another uh, light source here as well. You also have a heater to keep your bases nice and toasty uh, whenever it gets cold at nighttime. So you get that comfort bonus there. And you can craft both of these items. So let's do flood. It's gonna take you a wire, five scrap, electrical scrap, and one low grade metal and 15 glass fragments. And then the heater I guess I haven't learned the heater. Um, maybe you can't learn this item. Let's see here. Let's test it out. Let's take a kit here. All right, so you cannot learn the heater. So the heater you have to find out in the world to keep your bases nice and toasty here. And then E just turns both of these on and off. All right, so next we have, and I'm gonna disconnect that too, cause that doesn't seem to be working. Next we have our lights here. And I'm gonna connect all these up. Now you have two different types of lights. You have a ceiling light, which I have here, and then you have party lights. Um, 
They give off the same amount of light, uh, but these party lights are colored. Uh, it just depends on uh, RNG, what type of color you're going to get out of the light. So uh, the really the only way that you can see these lights is at nighttime. Um, during the daytime, you really can't see what color they put off, but um, at nighttime, you definitely can tell a little bit of a difference with the color. So once you have your lights hooked up, you can hook them up to conductors. You can hook them straight up to the battery bank to the light source here, but uh, your ceiling lights, you can craft up as well. 10 glass, one wire. And then I'm not sure, yeah, I've researched the party lights. Uh, party lights is 10 glass, one wire, and a spray can to make those bad boys. So, and then also the conductor you're gonna need as well, which is three, two, and two rubber. Um, now, the conductors don't pull any power when hooked up to the generator here. Um, so you don't have to worry about wattage with your conductors. You can use those, but I think that is everything. Now, there is a mixer that is gonna take power and it uh, uses 300 watts of power. Uh, so keep that in mind, you are gonna need that to power uh, the mixer to make cement. So, all right, guys, this is going to wrap up this uh, quick power guide here for you. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions or concerns. I'd love to help you guys out the best that I can. Get out there and scavenge Rise Island and find these power sources to power your base. But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Until next time. Take it easy.